In the first one, she kind of was trying to find out who she was, kind of a little bit flighty. She was doing the catering, but then she was also like a jewelry maker, you know, one of those people who's, who tries a bunch of different things. And um, by the time you meet her again in this one, she is uh, an executive chef at Red Rooster with Marcus Samuelson in Harlem. Everybody does have a secret, but I think that people have secrets. You know, you, you think you know somebody and there's always sides of them that you don't know about. And that's what I think is so brilliant about Malcolm's script in that, you know, these people, you know, it, Tay said it so well earlier, these people, um, you know, it kind of ends in a very happily ever apt after way, the first movie. And then you actually get to see that life isn't such a fairy tale, that, you know, there are ups and downs and people do grow, but sometimes, you know, they get stuck in bad patterns. And um, it's, it's interesting to see how when we all come together in this, uh, over this weekend in this same house, how things just start exploding. Because we're all under the same roof, which is kind of, it's a rare situation. I don't think we've ever done this. Um, and Jordan and Harper, my husband, they have history. And I don't really know her that well. And um, yes, there used to be some energy, some kind of chemistry between them. And I think that you know, that kind of chemistry never goes away. And um, I think that Robin picks up on that. And it's, it's kind of intimidating. I think that that's a testament to Malcolm and you know, how much we really appreciate him and his, his talent. And, um, you know, the first film, who knew it was going to become like a new classic? And so we were thrilled to come back together, and it was a blast.